the United Nations has said it will investigate the death of an opposition leader in Venezuela. The Maduro regime claims he jumped from the 10th floor of police headquarters. But his supporters say he was murdered by the government. Local 10's Cody Weddle has our exclusive update from Caracas. Opposition politician Fernando Alban laid to rest today, even though the reason why he fell from this 10th story window while in police custody remains unclear. Today, crowds marching through the streets shouting this was murder. Among them, the founder of Alban's party, two-time presidential candidate Enrique Capriles. El país necesita. This country needs this death not to pass by like so many others looked over and forgot about in a few days. Today, the White House accusing the government of involvement in the death. Family members here going even further, claiming the lawmaker was tortured. De que Fernando fue torturado. We have information that Fernando was tortured in many ways. He was choked, waterboarded, and shocked with electricity. Many here, including the Catholic Church, calling for an independent autopsy. So far, the only autopsy coming from a state-linked company. A demand for answers to this unsolved mystery. And Alban's family now promising to exhume his body once he is buried in order to perform an independent autopsy. Reporting in Caracas, I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.